Two triangles are congruent if they are exactly the same size and shape. This means each of the three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding sides of the other triangle. It also means each of the three angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of the other triangle. Due to the special properties of triangles, we don't need to check every side and angle. If certain sides and angles are equal, this means that all the other sides and angles must be equal. There are four conditions for congruent triangles. If any one of these conditions is true, the triangles are congruent. SSS, side side side. If both triangles have three sides the same, they are congruent. SAS, side angle side. If both triangles have two sides the same, and the angle enclosed by the sides is the same, they are congruent. AAS, angle angle side. If both triangles have two angles the same, and a corresponding side the same, they are congruent. RHS, right angle hypotenuse side. If two right angled triangles have the same hypotenuse, and any other side is the same, they are congruent. The triangle on the left has sides of length A, B and C. The triangle on the right also has sides of length A, B and C. These two triangles are congruent due to the side-side-side -side -side rule, SSS. To understand why these shapes are congruent, imagine we have three sticks of length A, B and C. If we try to make a triangle with these sticks, there is only one way to do it. There is no other way to create a triangle. This means that any triangle with sides A, B and C must be the same shape. So two triangles with the same side lengths must be congruent. We aren't saying that the angles don't matter. The angles must also be the same for the shapes to be congruent but we don't need to check the angles if we know the sides are the same. The angles have to be the same because that is the only way to make the triangle. The triangle on the left has sides of length B and C and an included angle A. The triangle on the right also has the same sides and angle. These two triangles are congruent due to the side angle side rule SAS. Here are two sides of length B and C, with an angle A between them. There is now only one way a triangle can be created, so any triangle with the same side and the side is congruent. The triangle on the left has angles A and B, with a side of length C between them. The triangle on the right also has the same angles and side. These triangles are congruent due to the angle-angle side rule, AAS. Here is a side of length C with an angle A at one end and B at the other. There is only one way a triangle can be created. This means that any triangle with the same angle-side angle must be identical, so two such triangles are congruent. Here is a different version of AAS where the two angles don't enclose the side. Angles B and C are the same in both triangles, and side C is the same, but side C is not enclosed by the angles B and C. Let's mark the unknown angle as A. We know that for a triangle, the three angles A plus B plus C add up to 180 degrees. This means that A equals 180 minus B minus C. If B and C are the same for the two triangles, this means that angle A must be the same too. So we now know that angles A and B and the side C are the same for each triangle. This is the same as the original AAS example, so the triangles are congruent. The triangle on the left is a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse of length H and a side of length B. The triangle on the right is also a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse H and a side B. These two triangles are congruent due to the right angle hypotenuse side rule, RHS. Why is this true? Since the triangles are right angled, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the third side, C. H squared is equal to B squared plus C squared. This means that C is equal to the square root of H squared minus B squared. 
Since both triangles have equal values for length h and b, it follows that the two remaining sides must both have equal values of c. So both triangles have three sides equal, which means they are congruent by the SSS rule. We will finish off by looking at some common errors. The first is the case of SAS, where the angle is not enclosed by the known sides. Here, the triangle has sides A and B, and the unenclosed angle A. You might think this is enough information to define a unique triangle, but it is not. There is a second way to draw a triangle that has sides A and B and angle A. This means that the triangle is not guaranteed to be congruent. Another common mistake is the angle-angle-angle case, AAA. Again, you might think there is only one way to draw a triangle with a particular set of three angles. But you can shrink a triangle without changing its angles. You can also grow the triangle without changing its angles. We can make different triangles that have the same angles. They are all the same shape, but not the same size, so they are not congruent. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.